Hi, everyone. I'm Bipla Bandari. I'm with Asian Institute of Technology, and I'm also involved with free and open source community Sahana. Today, I want to talk about a location-based early warning system that we developed for the government of Philippines, Maldives, and Myanmar. Uh, in the three countries, we found that they do not have a comprehensive coordination among different stakeholders involved at different administrative levels. Uh, the, another problem we found was they do not have a common format or standard for receiving and sending out the alerts. And most of the system were manual, so they would manually craft the um, fax, alerts, email, and SMS, and they would send out to a group of people they had. Uh, keeping all these problems in mind, we designed Sahana alerting and messaging broker Samro. Samro uses common alerting protocol CAP, which is given by International Telecommunication Union. Uh, through the CAP, you can disseminate the warning across various networks. The other scope that we tried to cover was the multi-agency situational awareness, where there were gaps among different organizations uh, during the response, and there were duplicated efforts. And we also want to help the organization to accomplish their workflow in time and in an automated way. In Samro, we have tried to cover most of the steps that are required for an alerting authority to issue the warning. Normally, there are a group of people who are responsible for uh, creating the alerts, and then there are other group of people who are responsible for reviewing those alerts and either approving or rejecting the alerts. The approved alerts goes to a uh, different, uh, different set of audiences, depending on the scope of the masses, and at times, the alert originating organization needs to give an update on the alert and at last issue an all-clear uh, all warning message. And it is also necessary for the first responders on the field uh, to be able to reply back to the system saying that they have actually received the alerts and they are uh, deployed so that the resources could be utilized. And the other advantage of using a common alerting protocol was one organization could uh, subscribe to the alerts of other organizations, and all those alerts could come into their system through the alert hub, and they could decide whether they want to relay that particular alert depending, uh, depending on the impact on its audiences. Uh, we, des we developed both uh, mobile system and the web system. The mobile system was mostly, again, for the first responders who may be out on the field, not always in the office, and they may want to issue a warning. We have a common operating pictures for both alert hub and the alert originating from the system, which, are, which shows the nicely color-coded polygon, where the color of the polygon signifies the urgency, severity, and the certainty for that particular area. We have a profile page for each individual alerts where you can uh, nicely see the area and other resources associated with the alerts. We disseminate alerts through email, SMS, RSS, FTP, whatever you can think of. One of the other objectives of the project was to generate the CAP steward or the CAP resource person in the country. Keeping this objective in mind, we bring in a couple of people from each country and then train them about the common alerting protocol, multi-agency situational awareness, and how the system has been handling both, and also provide hands-on and training on the software. A couple of months before, we visited each country and then provide, uh, did the drills and simulation in each country. Uh, from drills and simulation, we found some of the interesting data in the uh, technology acceptance model in a scale of one to five. We found that more than 3.5 people believe that Sambro is easy to use and it's useful to use, while in a scale of zero to seven, uh, more than 5.5 people had a positive attitude about adopting the system in their existing workflow. However, we also found some outliers in the data. We found that some people were taking longer time than expected while others were making mistakes in some of the attributes. We realized that some people were only presented at the dream. They were not presented in the training before. However, other, con other discussion leads to the conclusion that if we could have a hazard-specific form, all these errors could be easily minimized. And the time would be very less for creating the alerts, which is our next major task. And we want to integrate the situational reporting at some point, also the drone module. So if you are one of the implementers who thinks this is relevant to your workflow, please do use our system and provide us feedback on how we can make the system more effective and and I'll be more, more than happy to engage and help. I'm Bipla Bandari. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.